Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about uh, alert dialogs or display alerts in Zamarin forms. But first, if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel because I need your love and support for this channel. So we will directly go to in this uh, stack layout and inside this we will create a button on with the click of which we will uh, show a display or display an alert so here I will give it the uh, text display alert and now I'll give it a background color so background um, or color and uh, it will equal um, I'll look uh, red and then I'll give it a font uh, text color so text color so it will be white and uh, now clicked when it is clicked so we will fire up this uh, method so I'll name this method display alert and now I'll copy this and at the end I'll put a closing uh, of this tag now I'll go to code uh, by clicking uh, I have to give some margin to this button as well because it will not look good it will cover all the screen toward the ends so I'll give it margin 20 and uh, now we will go to the code of this so for that I will click F7 and now we are in the code so here I will create a, a method down here and I will call this public async uh, wide uh, we will talk uh, about this async in a later session wide uh, and then I will control V and now I'll uh, create this and now here I will pass in object because um, it is button click and this method is uh, 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 fired up by button click so we will also provide event arguments so I already one time created this curly braces so I'll remove this now here I will write the code to display alert so for that I will use display alert and now it takes some parameters so the first one it take is a OINM title so for title I will use a warning and uh, then it take the message so for message I will pass in the um, uh, this is a uh, alert an alert demo and then it takes um, you can see here it takes a cancel so for that I will use ok so uh, when we click on this ok button or this ok text it will disappear so it is showing an error here because we haven't given it a name so I will call this event orgs now the error is gone now this is uh, ok now let's uh, run this but first I have to use uh, await here so we will also talk about this await uh, keyword in a later session now I will run this application on my device I have already connected it to Visual Studio so now the application is running on my device so we will go to the device and now if I click on this display alert as you can see display alert is shown and uh, now we will um, uh, if I click on this alert we will show here um, two buttons and then we will which button is click uh, we will get that button so for that I have to just go here close it and I will make this uh, 
yes and I'll make this no no and uh, now I'll have a assign a variable answer to this and now I'll print it here debug dot right line and here I'll use answer answer equals and uh, plus and here I will pass in um, answer and then uh, yes full colon and here I will pass in no I'll put a semicolon here and now I'll go back here and I'll put a question mark here now if I run this application again I'll have to stop it and rerun it again now the application is running on the device so if I click on this uh, display alert now you can see yes and no if I click yes so now here uh, answer is yes and now if I again go to this and click this alert and now if I click no now you can see here that no is printed in the console so that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you